Hello, it's Ollie here at The Crafty Whisk, and I'm so grateful that you could join me today. Okay, we're up to pages two and three. Now, before I get started on these two pages, remember we didn't actually secure these two bits together because I wasn't sure what was happening on this page. As it turns out, I'm just doing a plain page with a tuck spot. So we can go ahead and glue these two together for stability. So to do that, again, I'm going to open my album out. And I'm going to apply my red line tape. This is a standard page, not a pocket page. So we're going to put adhesive um, on the whole page. It is a bit trickier because the album has got all of its um, flaps and everything glued in, but we will manage. Tape needs to be burnished down until it changes colour and you know you've got a full adhesion. Then remove the backing. And this is the tricky bit because we have stuff on this page. Align the holes and then the rest of the page should go down. too much of an issue. You do get a cleaner fit if you do this at the start, on about a sixteenth of an inch off there. But we will just deal with that. Alright, so we are up to page two and three, so I'm opening it out so I can get to page two nice and easily and I figured out where that strip from page one was it was for page two so I just remove paper clips from everywhere we are going to stick down the base page first and that is five and a half by seven and seven eighths and it's designed so that it will slip into the pocket Spacing top and bottom. Now we can glue the pocket down just at the top and the bottom. So, I think it was, I'm going to do that bit last, just so I know which side it actually is. Alright, we'll start with the bottom. This piece here is a 3 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Both these are the same size. Okay. 
So these can either be for journaling or for photos. Then the other side is the same size, 3 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. That way. I think it's that way. I'm going to make it that way. Oops. I like the orientation of the rows. The writing is upside down, but I like the rose orientation. And unless you look closely, you can't really tell the writing's upside down. It's so faint. All right, the top one, we need two pieces that are four and seven eighths by four and five eighths. This one, nice bird. I'm just going to double check. I think this has to go first. So I'm just going oops, to put this little piece down. Try not to get it on the scallop bits because the scallop is what we want to hang down. So we are centering it left and right and making sure that we are even and then garnish that like so and then pop the bird on top it may overlap the scallop I think I did the scallop as an afterthought after I cut this to size. Yes, I did. And this was seven and seven eighths by one and one eighth. And then when we put something into the pocket, it will keep those flaps closed. So that is page two. Fold that around. Get page three. So page three it was our fold out and up and down and all sorts of things. <laughs> so it was this page here where we fold up, fold down, and fold out. And then that whole piece folds up. All right, so we're gonna start at the back. And this piece is seven by seven eighths by seven and three eighths. So this is um, a really nice base page here to put a really nice larger photo on. Or you can do a collage of smaller photos. I'm actually going to turn my album so 
so I'm not reaching too far. This bit is the main flap, which I haven't um, stamped on. So I'll have to do that afterwards. And I've put the scalloping bit onto this page only because I'd already, um, it was a bit too tricky to do it on the other side. So this one, sorry, is seven and I think it was one eighth, seven and a quarter by seven. So this one I want to make sure the scalloping goes over the edge, it does. And burnish it as best as you can with all the bits that are underneath there. Okay, so that comes down. Now we delve into This piece, which is seven and a quarter by six and three quarters. Move that one down. Sometimes, if you've got all the measurements in advance and you've pre planned everything to the last little bit, it's actually easier to pop all of these on as you're building the album. I'm just having a look at my stamping and see if there was a right or a wrong way. Okay. It gets tricky in this page in particular because we have gussets, so it's hard to remember which part of the score line. So I've got the edges there and then I've got our score line out here. So as long as we just keep it all within those edges, we're fine. All right, now I need to do this bit. So I might actually, no, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these flaps first because then I have to rotate the album to make the other ones easier. All right, so this is uh, six and five eighths by five and seven eighths. I need two, so one for this side and one for the other side. going to the first score line or well, not up to it we're going just like a sixteenth of an inch away from the first score line I'm just going to remove that paper clip so I can do this side now I have the album orientated oriented sideways so I need to make sure I put this on the correct orientation actually before I do that sorry I need to put that down because I did this as an afterthought as well after I cut it so I need to make sure that that goes down first it's on straight now this glue dries super quick so I will need to re-glue and it's really hot here today so the glue dries stupid quick 37 degrees here today lovely not And then we'll glue that down. I'm just putting extra pressure because I have the half dry glue there as well and I'm going to get it on myself as usual. Alright, open that back out. 
and go for this side. This side is the same as that side was, which was can't remember now. Uh, six and five eighths by five and seven eighths. So again, making sure we don't hit that first score line. And then this side. Yes, it was, sorry, five and seven eighths by six and five eighths. And I've just realized I have made a boo-boo because I forgot to get my closing mechanism down first. So I will have to work out how to put that on after the fact. Okay, so before we deal with that middle bit there, I forgot to do this one, which is similar to how we did, oh, just like we did the waterfall one. So this again is one and a quarter, and this will be one and an eighth. So I need to, this should have gone under, under that bit there. Which, actually, I'm going to hide it because we haven't decorated that page yet. I'm going to actually hinge it around there. That should still work. Okay, that's okay. All right, I know how to problem solve that one. So now we are going to open We need to do is all this bit inside. Okay, so I'm trying to work out how the best way is of doing this. Maybe it I was still better out that way actually. It's going to be tricky no matter how I do it, I think. All right, so this bit needs to go down first. and bottom. Make sure we are even. And then this is going to get stuck over the top. This is um, four and five eighths by six and three eighths. And we need two of these, one for this side and one for the other side. Make sure the writing's the correct way. I'm going to scooch that so that we have that nice border there and it's going to be sitting on top of our score. Okay, open that out and we have that piece. Like so. And then we need two of these. And they are four and seven eighths by six and three eighths. This was the piece that I need to maneuver my album around a bit. It's 
going to be tricky. It doesn't matter how I do it. I think I'm going to be very gentle. So what I might do is burnish it from the other side. Okay. And now I need to measure this piece. So I'm going to, like I said, hide it underneath that page and make sure it's sitting nice and square. I've done here is similar to the bird I've just gotten a flower image out of the paper pad and fussy cut around it and then put it on top of some ivory and then fussy cut around it again and then go around the edges with the ink so my aim with this one was to put it so that it's looking like it is part of the bouquet so I think it's a bit silly up there. I think I need to put it here, which means I need to cut I need to cut it there. And yes, you can cut this with scissors. No, I can't because I cannot cut a straight line with scissors to save myself. And then measure this one, measure it on the back so that my pencil line won't be seen. Okay. And this again will have the uh, Velcro closure. Side of the hinge. I think my glue bottles run out. Yep, definitely. All right. This is probably clogged, so I'll just need to unclog it. I've been using my glue press so much these ones don't get as much use anymore I have to go in and do some major unclogging of that one so out comes the big guns expecting. Alright, so slip that under, making sure we go all the way to the score line. Make sure it's straight and then I'm going to burnish it down. So we've gone up to the first score line, we've still got our gusset of a quarter of an inch there. Then I'm going to pop my flower down. Whoops, a daisy. I'm just going to hold it there. Glue on the rest. Oh, that glue is a lot more liquid. I'm just going to burnish it from this side so I don't put glue on my page by accident. I'll have to refill my glue press before we do the next page. 
Okay, Velcro. So we grab, I am actually going to put a dot of glue on there. That's the soft one. Now we need the sticky one. I'm going to pop it onto that one. Just put a dot of glue. Make sure that we are staying square here. Oops, I'm not going to put onto the Velcro. And just gently press it down there. Maybe a bit firmer so we can actually get in there and undo it. It doesn't want to undo. I'll have to leave it until the glue sets just a wee bit. So if you were using magnets, you would put the magnet underneath that flower and underneath this piece of paper. But I find the Velcro is really cool. You can't see it. And it just eliminates the need of magnets. It's actually got a lower profile than magnets as well. Sometimes it's not appropriate for Velcro because you may need quite a few. But this album, it is perfectly fine. So that does up like that. And then we open, open, down out and out and then also oops sorry up and this keeps the whole thing closed so that when the album's closed it doesn't go anywhere whereas if you don't have a closure that kind of thing happens but we're going to solve that by popping a tag or something in there and that stops that from floating around all right so that was pages uh, two and three join me next for four and five Please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss it when I bring out a new video.